According to the World Health Organization, mental disorders are one of the largest contributors to global disability worldwide. Anxiety and depression pose significant risk factors for suicide. This places major economic burden on the society. The current procedure for diagnosing anxiety and depression is based on reports provided during clinical trials, which are subject to various biases. Although these reports are typically reliable when performed by trained experts, they may sometimes lack sensitivity and specificity, which are valuable in differentiating disorders one from another. Now, in this project, we use machine learning approaches to diagnose anxiety and depression disorders by making use of the videos with mice and their brain neural activity data, which is also known as historic data. The goal of this project is to use the movement data of the mice to diagnose the level of their anxiety. These findings could contribute to the research in the diagnosis of depression and anxiety in humans. The project itself consists of several steps. The first step is to perform the post tracking of the mice in the video. Now, coordinates of their body parts and limbs are useful for detecting motoric behavior. We labeled these videos using a post tracking software called Sleep. Which we, with which we were able to extract and estimate the post key points of the mice to use for further analysis. The coordinates extracted were used to derive new features specific to each experiment. There are four available types of the experiment. The open field experiment has a setting consisting of the square arena with the length of 45 centimeters. The target mouse is placed inside this arena with the fiber photometry wire attached to its head. This allows us to collect the brain activity data of the mouse that is also known as the Doric data. The videos are shot from the top of the arena and the average duration of the videos are 10 minutes. The main features of this experiment are the total distance uh, traveled by the mouse inside the arena and also the total time spent in the central and peripheral zones of the maze. Next, in the elevated plus maze experiment, the arena is a plus shaped maze. It contains two types of arms, open arms and closed arms. The mouse is placed inside the center of the arena and its behavior is also shot from the top of the maze. The main features of this experiment include the time spent in each arm of the maze by the mouse. In the social interaction experiment, the setting is similar to the open field experiment. However, the only difference is that the non-target mouse is also placed inside the same arena. This is done to observe the interaction of the mice, and therefore the main features are the proximity and the average interaction frequency between the mice inside the same arena. And the final, the Y-maze experiment has a closed Y-shaped maze or arena. The mouse is placed inside the maze and the alternations between different arms of the maze is also measured as the main feature of this experiment. After performing the feature engineering, we went further to cluster the dataset into different groups. The uh, derived features were used to find different clusters of mice. For example, in social interaction experiment, there were three main features. Total distance moved by the subject, latency to the first interaction with the second mouse, and the total time of active interaction between the mice. Data points were clustered into two different groups. Green data points on average have low total distance moved low total time of active interaction, and higher latency before the first interaction. The red data points have opposite values. Therefore, the clusters show the level of activity of the target mouse. <laughs> the next step of the project is to use the Doric data and combine it with the activity data of the neuro activity of mice. The Doric data can be used as an anxiety levels of the subject. After combining the data, the correlation between the anxiety levels of the mice and its motoric behavior can be observed and calculated. Then the labels and mechanical anxiety levels can be attached to every video in our dataset. This will allow to create a dataset for the classification of the videos into different anxiety levels groups. This is our plan for the future. The project was proposed by Coffee Lab, consisting of Eleanor Coffey, the vice director and group leader, and Yi Hong, <laughs> and also Jismi John. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <f> <laughs> <f> <laughs> 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 I